In this update, we're watching a powerful storm system that's starting to come together that looks to bring widespread impacts. There's two areas that we're highlighting. First, the one, this upper level low that's draped across portions of Iowa. And then the secondary piece of energy down here into the Gulf of Mexico. That is the one that's just now starting to come together that will be racing up the eastern seaboard as this one starts to move east this whole area will have widespread impacts as we head into later this weekend into that Monday time frame. So by tomorrow, we should be having a formidable low pressure center down there into the Gulf of Mexico. Look at that. That's down to a 995 millibar. That's almost like a tropical storm down there in the Gulf in December, folks. That's not going to be tropical, but it will bring tropical type impacts to Florida with some severe weather and even tornadoes as we head into later on today. So we're all only nine days away from Christmas. And if you're still looking for a present, the Tempest from Weatherflow is gonna be a great one. It's the one I highly recommend. And it's the one I've actually used for the past three years for a weather station. The cool thing about it is it's a complete five in one system because it's all solar and it literally only takes like 10 minutes to install so you have a convenient app that you can have on your phone plus you have a desktop version and be a part of the 65,000 and the tempest community and if you are interested if you'd like to purchase one of these i do have a discount code that is pow weather 10 you get 10 percent off and free shipping so i'll have this link in the description below so you can easily click on it and possibly order one for yourself. And if you hadn't subscribed to the channel already, I'd love to reach 225,000 subscribers by the end of the year. And you can help me get there by subscribing to the channel and following all my daily content. So let's really delve into this folks, because we do have severe storms that are mainly gonna be impacting Florida later on this afternoon into the overnight hours. So the Storm Prediction Center does in fact already have a slight risk. And this has actually been upgraded and expanded. That does encompass all these areas from Jacksonville to Tampa into the Orlando region, up here in Daytona Beach, further south down to Naples, it even includes the Key West region all the way to the Miami. And these could have some tropical type funnels tropical type you know tornadoes within this region because that's going to be a formidable low that looks to come ashore likely north of the tampa bay region bringing very high intense winds and very heavy rain associated with this feature look at the some of the winds on the latest high resolution guidance as this low pressure center this 995 low will be coming northbound and lifting northeast so as it moves across those winds are going to be pretty intense so you got pounding waves offshore you've got two to four inch rains and then you have the winds cranking 40 50 60 upwards to almost 70 miles an hour at times and that just spreads inland up to uh, portions of the southeast of georgia up into the carolinas and going into north carolina as we get into deeper into the day on your sunday time frame but look what it's leaving behind that's going to leave behind a quick burst of two to five inches of rainfall today and into the overnight hours pretty much encompassing almost the entire state of florida as this will be racing up moving northeast and after we get past today the, the threat just continues in fact it actually starts to intensify so you've got this low pressure center that will likely remain somewhere near the coast, picking up that abundance amount of moisture coming in off the Atlantic and spreading those heavier rains and higher wind impacts. So you've got the backside of the storm. This would likely be on Sunday. This is Sunday morning. You've got the backside of the storm that's going to be really highlighted over uh, going, going into uh, Ohio by then. But the further you live to the coast, the higher the impacts with this system. And the closer you live around that low pressure, going to be higher the impacts as well in the form of very high intense winds. I mean, this is something pretty significant. I mean, this is a 985 millibar low pressure. Now, there won't be much cold air going to be associated with this but it's gonna be bringing some very high intense waves and intense winds and intense rains, because yes, the deeper the low, the lower the low can get, 
the more intense this storm system will become as it's going to be racing up the eastern seaboard. This is likely where we stand as we head into that Sunday night time frame. Likely this low pressure center is somewhere near, near the vicinity of the Virginia and North Carolina border as this continues to race up the northeast, bringing those kind of widespread impacts. And along the way, it'll bring those heavier rains. So you've got a widespread slight risk for excessive rainfall. Usually that in pretty much encompasses anywhere from two to four inches of rain highlighted over this yellow shaded area from South Carolina to North Carolina to Virginia, all the way up into Delaware, into New Jersey. And these green shaded areas, a little bit lighter because you're right around that low, you have the most significant impacts, a little bit lighter amounts, but yet still you could pick up an inch, possibly some two inch totals in these green shaded areas. And as we can continue to move and go into your Monday morning time frame, we've got another messy commute coming for the Northeast as we head into your Monday morning, as you're trying to get to work, We've got a 981 millibar low pressure that you're going to be dealing with highlighted over eastern portions of Pennsylvania by then. Spreading high, very high winds. You could be looking at some 60 plus mile per hour wind gust highlighted over Long Island into Massachusetts and Connecticut into Rhode Island all the way up the eastern seaboard as this powerful low pressure center will continue to actually intensify until it gets to Canada, it continues to intensify, actually bringing the higher winds and the further north this gets, the higher winds it's going to bring as well. But notice there's really not much colder air, right? I mean, if this was had colder air, this would be like a significant blizzard, <laughs> but that's not happening. This is going to be an all rain event with this uh, with this particular system very high winds and heavy rains associated with it as this is gonna to continue to race up. There's Monday afternoon. Now we're down to a 978 millibar as this winds actually intensify up here in Maine as this will continue to move up and race out into the Northeast. You do have some colder air that will be highlighted over the backside and whatever little precipitation is left, which is probably not going to be much and the, as the drier air moves in on the backside, yeah, we could be picking up some sporadic snow showers. So yeah, we could get some flurries and stuff and there might be some inch reports amounted in some of these areas, but we're really not expecting much as far as the on the snow front. The main concern with this event is just going to be the very high winds. And this has been pretty consistent, folks. I mean, this is the latest NAM guidance bringing those extensive winds. I mean, we're talking widespread impacts, right? I mean, from 50 mile per hour wind gust all the way down into Florida, getting into Georgia through South Carolina, through North Carolina into Virginia. So notice the further north you get, the more intense the winds become potentially as this continues to race up. So these are the winds essentially highlighted from today all the way through Monday afternoon as this will continue to race up. And by the time we get into Monday afternoon, it's likely going to be somewhere in the vicinity of Maine spreading those high wind gusts. All those areas could pick up some 70 mile per hour wind gusts. So we're looking at possibly widespread some power outages along the way with those higher winds knocking down the knocking out the power as this will continue to race up the eastern seaboard but notice where you stand the kind of the demarcation line it's really set up across ohio you're going to get some impacts from this event you could pick up a quarter inch to a half inch you get further into eastern ohio you're talking closer to an inch but yes the main impacts from this system are really gonna be highlighted from Pennsylvania, especially further east into Eastern PA, then to New Jersey, into Long Island, and up here into the North New England, as this will continue to race up, leaving behind a good amount of rainfall. So yes, the beginning stages, this is where the upper level low is now, as this will continue to race across. So the further east you live, the higher amounts you're basically gonna get. So these areas in green, you're talking up to a half inch. These areas in blue, about a half inch to one inch of rainfall as this moves through Kentucky into Ohio. 
and then once you get over here towards virginia then we're talking over an inch and then they get to these red shaded areas yes that's where there's having the slight risk for excessive rainfall any of these areas could easily pick up two to four inches of rain so you got widespread impacts essentially from the southeast up the east coast into the northeast uh, from this uh, particular storm going to be impacting at least like 20 states uh, from this setup but it is going to bring some colder air on the backside We've got a quick shot of colder air that is going to buckle the jet stream for at least a day <laughs> and bring down some of those colder temperatures and yes they could be dipping all the way far south i mean even the florida panhandle could dip near freezing possibly down to 34 there on Tuesday morning as the colder air will continue to push further south. As this race is up, colder air will come on the backside, but it looks to be somewhat short-lived because we do have a pretty dominant Pacific flow coming in off a massive jet stream that's building off in the Pacific. That's gonna be racing across with that more zonal flow over the top and that's a warm flow folks so yes as we extend the view going into next week and this is actually highlighted over winter this is your first day of official winter which will be coming up on thursday the 21st we've got a pretty significant warm surge of air coming into the lower 48 again with that pacific pacific flow but what we also have is a trough that's building underneath and that's going to be pretty significant for the west coast will be our major player as we head towards the middle of next week and going in towards your christmas time frame with this pretty much significant trough that will be building in further west and as it does it's going to really start to tap into that subtropical jet stream and that's the more of an el nino type setup starting to kind of unfold now as we head into Thursday. So we've got this upper level low, this powerful storm system that's gonna be cranking off the West Coast, drawing in all that moisture spread. So this is the feed coming in off the Southwest flow. This is some rains across Texas and Oklahoma, through Missouri, through Illinois, as this low will spread its own rain into California. So this is from welcome rains into California as the pattern will start to take on a more of an El Nino look. And as it does, this low will continue to drop southbound. Now it's gonna be highlighted further south near San Diego, as this will be on your Friday timeframe, heading into that 22nd timeframe. Still that spoke of energy pulling in from the Southwest flow, cranking in that moisture, gonna be highlighted across this region. And as we get into your Saturday timeframe, it should likely start to be on the move. So now, once it starts to shift eastward, now those areas in Southern California into Arizona, back into New Mexico, still across Texas and Oklahoma and through portions of Missouri, into, into Arkansas, into Iowa, all rain with this particular system as we head towards that 23rd time frame. And the same thing likely on Christmas Eve. So you got the Pacific jet coming in, pumping in that warmer air. Then you got the trough underneath, setting up more of an El Nino type look with the abundance amount of rain dropping across the southern jet stream, going in and heading towards your Thursday, Friday, Saturday, into your Christmas Eve time frame. And going into Christmas Day, we kind of highlighted this on our, you know, who will see a white Christmas, which is not really going to be many <laughs> there's actually not much snow on the ground right now and you got the warm air coming in next week and yes with this low pressure that will be coming across it still has the timing where likely on maybe possibly christmas morning if there's any snow around that's actually falling from the sky it would be highlighted mainly probably over new mexico over colorado possibly the texas panhandle into western kansas where that low pressure will center will be coming in um as, as the rain will likely probably be moving out of texas by then and be spreading more into arkansas into louisiana you know as we get deeper towards your you know christmas time frame but yes overall as we head into the next week as we this storm system will be moving out on monday afternoon 
this storm system will be moving in on your Wednesday. So Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, as this race will, will be racing across, you've got a good amount of moisture coming in and some welcome rains across the deep south into California, places in Nevada, and into, uh, into Arizona, especially as this will race across the Four Corners regions through New Mexico, into West Texas, into North Texas Central, all the way through Oklahoma into Kansas, as we've got abundance amount of rains with that low pressure center that will be moving in from west to east as we get closer to that Christmas time frame. So guys, I appreciate you guys uh, watching. Do like this video, definitely hit the subscribe button and catch the next update where I protect you before and after the storm.